What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming bringing you back Armageddon in Seven Days to Die. Daytime is approaching. See, I have a plan. So I've been thinking, I need to go to Trader Gen and I need to buy the Forgetting Elixir. Because my loadout is shocking. It is not good. It is terrible. It is just absolute, just no. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think the game's running on ultra settings. Because I turn the um, video quality up when I'm doing thumbnails, just so they look nicer. And I have a plan on what to do with my house, with my base. I've taken down this because I was, because it came up a little bit here, went across, then down that way. I thought about just cutting that part out and just go straight across. But then I got to thinking, these hordes are a problem. And they continue to be so. So I'm thinking that we need to have a fence all the way around our house. Like have that fence come up to about here maybe. All the way down and then back around. And make it stronger and better and make it so the zombies can never come in. And I'm also thinking about having my farm when I make it elevated. So it's off the ground. Could use catwalks and stuff like that. That'd be quite sick, I think. As for the whole base, I thought about making it longer, maybe. I thought about uh, that part that part here where I stand. I thought about knocking that down. I know it's gonna hurt because so much resources. And have a pillar, just like that one, right here and move this backwards. Or, start from scratch, and I'll, I'll just run over there. Just run over there, John, just run over there. Instead of just standing there. <laughs> yeah, so I thought about having another one come down this way, but have it so it's two blocks away. So there and there. So it's two blocks away. So it starts here and have the single iron door flipped on the side because when the iron doors, I've not uh, tested this myself, I've not done this myself yet. When you flip the doors to the side and you put the side, side poles down, when you put them down on a plane that you can walk over, you can walk over it, but the zombies can't. So when the door is closed, they, they can, the zombies can path over it. When the doors open, they can't. And then have that door connect to another base that goes that way. It's an idea, it's an idea. And I'm willing to explore this. And I did prepare for a lot of um, upgrading and building. I, I've turned, I believe it's 200 concrete into concrete blocks ready for when I do this house. Nothing in there. Uh, it's on the craft as we speak. I put that on overnight. I've got 100 topsoil because I'm going to fill in the sinkhole. I might do that now actually. Use the 100 that I've got. Um, yeah, I've got 1,000 concrete mix left over for upgrades and stuff like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And we'll throw you back away. That's still a good amount. That's still a good amount of concrete. And I've got some in here too. But I am running out of stone. I do need me some stonage. But we'll put that on the craft. Another 181. Yeah, my sand and stone ratio is not very good. But let's get to finally filling in this hole. I know 100 is probably not going to be enough. I'm probably going to need more than that. Because I want to fill it all in. And I need to break that as well. Alright. Let's get to work.
Okay, so we used the 100 clay soil. We actually did quite a bit. There are some of, the, some of this looks a bit annoying. It's not sitting flat, which is winding me up a little bit. Because <laughs> it needs to look good. I'll fix that anyway, probably off camera. But yeah, we've just got this pond. It's not a sinkhole anymore, it's a pond. We've got this to go. I might leave this. Because I know that if I have an empty hand and I stare at the water, I can drink the water. But I need, I don't think I have one. I need a water purifier mod, which I don't have yet. So if I drink that, I end up with the shits. A trial of crap whenever I run around. And the zombies will be able to sniff me out, follow me, kill me. Can't have that. <laughs> but anyway, we we have got a lot to do. A lot to do indeed. We've got to go to Trader Gen. We need to save. Possibly not have to save. Maybe... Oh yeah, I did find this during the night. Uh, ran, I killed a zombie. It dropped a loot bag. And inside it was an iron fire axe. Can't complain. Is this done yet? Two, two, cool. Throw this down. I, I, need, I need to get the farm sorted out as soon as possible. I do not have a lot of food left. And I've got so many seeds. It's just screaming at me. Build a farm. Right, we'll take that. The clay can go in there. Crushed sand and stone, that can come with us. I don't think, I don't have any candies or trader candies or anything like that. I have like no discounts whatsoever. I think we're gonna go to the trader gen, which is to the west. See what she's got. Buy the learn. Uh, I keep saying learning elixir. Buy the forgetting elixir. That will reset all of my skills. And then I've got an idea where we're going to put them. Because no one said that I can that I have to do spears throughout the whole series. One of the reasons they've made the forgetting elixir so cheap is so you can. It's part of the game. It's not cheating. It's literally just because I've always. In my previous playthroughs, I've always felt bad about buying it. <laughs> but I've like, nah. I, Spear is very good, very powerful. I just can't really use it that well. I have moments of where it's, I'm absolutely a god with it. At poking stuff with my sharp stick. But most of the time, it's just, I keep missing. And we need to put our points elsewhere. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. I do like you, Jen. And uh, I've not said this yet, but I, I have been ill the last week, two weeks. So I have fallen a little bit behind on the videos. Um, but I'm I'm getting better now. I might sound I might still sound a little bit. And please forgive me if I forget to edit out a huge sneeze and a big coughing fit. Because I still have a, a small cough and whatnot. But anyway, hop to it. Trader Jen, do you have any jobs? I've already got one going with you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Medical, yeah, she pretty much just sells the same crap. <laughs> I need another trader because I need the I need I need some books in my life. I'm not gonna buy anything yet because I don't. Hold on, let me check. No, she doesn't have any sugar butts. Sugar butts are really difficult to find. At least that's what I found in the last like few days that well, 30 days that I've been playing in this alpha. Right, so books, yeah. Materials, yeah, concrete. Forged steel, only five. Gunpowder, nice. She is selling better weapons and ammo. I will give her that. Uh, shotgun turret. Lanterns. I, might, I do need a new lantern because the previous horde destroyed one. Right, where is the forgetting? Or where's the forgetting Alexa? Where's the Huh? It's too bad I couldn't help you. Okay, this trader gen doesn't have one. I thought I thought the traders are always supposed to have a forgetting Alexa. That's the main thing that's 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 consistent. No, oh, there's an airdrop. Let's go to the airdrop. That's strange. I'll have to check out the other trader in the wastelands. If not, the other trader gen. 
in the wasteland and slightly to the northeast. Oh shit. <laughs> Get over. Search. We've got two baked potatoes. We've got a red tea and we've got some uh, 762. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll definitely open you. Take all of that. Uh, open. Okay, forge your head. 35 out of 75. That's ridiculous. I need to push into that a bit more. Nothing. And I'll leave that so it stays bundled. And then scrap into the fire. Not bad. Haven't unlocked anything new yet. It's a shame. Alright, there's a little there's a miniature wandering horde coming in. <laughs> yeah, I think they're feral. Of course, they're always at my sodden house. There's another one. She might be accompanied by a lot of other freaks. Alright, it's a bigger horde. And they're mostly all feral. And they're still coming. Well, I can't be bothered to deal with you just yet. <laughs> they're all going to the test. They're all going to the same place. Arlene, I'll see you at Trader Gens. We are here. I accidentally left Trader's gate open. Whoops. I hope you're still. And I left her front door open. Jeez. Trader Gen, please tell me you're okay. <laughs> Sugar butts. No. Oh. Today's not the day. You're looking kind of rough. Well, thanks, Jen. I'm, you didn't get bit, did you? No. At least I hope not. But I'm getting over a cold. <laughs> uh, can I see your image? Can I see if you have the learning elixir, please? Or oh, the forgetting elixir. Get the words right, John. Yes, she does. Really? That's cheap. That's cheap. I swear it's normally six. Am I wearing a if cigar? Is that why? For every time someone was just looking. I'd be as rich no. as Trader Joel. Oh, I do have a couple of points into uh, Better Bar or Daring Adventure. I do still have three skill points. I'm saving them. Better Bar is two. Daring Adventure is two. Okay, that's fine. That's probably why it's cheap. So it's even cheaper than I thought. Happy days. I should have repaired you. Uh, whatever. Just sell you. Just sell you. <laughs> right, so let's... Forget Elixir. Bye. We have two two thousand two hundred left. Do you have anything else? You restock tomorrow, okay? Cook a pot, knife guy, bow hunters, furious fists. I do. Sh I, 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 I'm worried because when I respect, I'm worried that I can't craft good enough with that stuff. She has nothing. Right. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Thank you, Jen. Okay. Well, I'm going because we're at the trader and we're protected. I am gonna reset our skills right now whilst we've got the uh, protection of the trader. Because I would do it when I'm at home, but I'll just constantly keep getting bothered by the bloody zombies all the time. But anyway, there's no time like the present. I'm sorry to do this. This is the first time I've ever used a forgetting elixir. Are you sure you want to reset all your skill points? All points will be returned for use on other skills. We've done it. <laughs> That's a cool sound. Your skill points have been reset. Okay, so I have 50 skill points now. All right, okay. So, I am thinking agility. Because... Because I like the pistols. I like the pistols and I love the SMG. The SMG is fantastic. And when I finally get the best of the best of the pistols, it will be, SMG will be my fast firing weapon, which we use nine mil, and my close quarters, sort of like a shotgun blast, would be my Desert Vulture, which, is, which uses 44 ammo. And eventually I will, uh, skill up to AP ammo I hope maybe <laughs> okay so we're gonna go you 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 and then you 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 because I need I, I need to go to the bookstores I probably should have done a load of bookstore raiding no no I couldn't have I couldn't do that because if I went to the bookstore and raided 
I would just get books for spears and rifles. Me putting points into now agility and gunslinger is going to warrant me getting more books more often. Okay. And I think we're going to go into knives. I've never done knives before. So we'll go for free for that. Running gun. Yes. I need that. And I, I love parkour. Agility is just so bloody amazing. I love agility. Alright, so let's go for you. You. Gunslinger. Yes. Deep cuts. Yes. Whirlwind. They won't see it coming. Knife attacks are 5% faster. Yes. Um, and then we'll go you. You. I don't have, I don't think I have any ski goggles. Sod it, we're doing it. We're going to go max, max level of pistols, knives, and the speed for it. We're going to go max level of running gun. I do want me some parkour. Uh, yes, and the next one should be jump one meter higher. Yes, we'll go into hidden strike. From the shadows, we'll go two skill points into each. I'm running out of points. <laughs> okay, so we'll go into Master Chef. So cooking and whatnot is going to be a little bit faster. We're not going. Yeah, we're not going into baseball bats. Maybe another series. Is there anything in this one? I'm. I might say. I don't know. My loot might be different now because I won't have skill points into Lucky Looter. But I'm not sure. Healing factor. Iron gut, yeah. Definitely. Machine gunner, brawler. Intellect. Better barter, yes. Daring adventurer, yes. We'll go. Oh, yeah, I do have the goggles on me. So that means I do want to get to the two for it. Am I wearing the goggles? The uh, nerdy glasses? I am. So if I'm wearing them white, right, okay, so if I, what happens if I take them off? This is something that I've always like been kind of like curious about. Right. Okay. So the being a, having the ability. Okay. So having so having the nerdy glasses on gives me the ability to be able to buy the second level of bear bar and daring adventurer. Taking them off takes that away. Okay. So I will buy you, and we'll buy. I can't buy you. Intellect level four. Jeez. Okay. Level four, and then we'll buy you. So then when I take them off, okay, so when I take them off, I lose level two. Okay, so I have to remember that I always have to have my XP goggles on when I'm buying or selling. How many skill points? I have four left. Oh, physician. Oh, I need, I need points. I need points into Grease Monkey. Lock picks, I think. I think lock picks is workbenches. Where is it? Lock picks, lock picks, lock picks, lock picks. Lock picking is in intellect, okay. Learn to pick locks faster and break fewer lock picks. Burg burglar, you are starting to make a name for yourself. You can pick locks 20% faster and have a 10% lower chance to break lock picks. So where does, it, where does it tell me that it gives me the books that I need? Let me have a look. Maybe it will tell me in here workstations reading forge ahead will unlock various tiers of workstations and their tools boost loot odds with advanced engineering and or lock picking okay so a point into each might give it might give me even more i'll be up for that lock picking and advanced engineering I have one skill point to spend. What other ones is there? What else? What else gives me uh, stuff? 
Um, I could do points into minus 69. That would be a good get. Master Chef, Pack Mule, Heavy Armor. No. Huntsman. Machine Gunner, Lightning Hands. Living off the lands, yes. I think that's good. I think we did good. But now, <laughs> I am using... How did you get in here? Now I'm using weapons and guns. <laughs> that have little to no effect on the zombies because I'm not skilled into them anymore. That is a shame. So we'll head home. We'll have a look. <laughs> we'll have a look at what... I probably should have grabbed a job. Damn it. All right, never mind. We'll grab a job another time. Yeah, we'll go home. We'll have a look at what we can craft. I I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to craft much. That's not my house. <laughs> have I looted you? I have not. Come on. Night Stalker. Do 10% more sneak damage at night. Yes, please. Yes, please. By the end of this series, I want to be max level of everything in uh, agility. I want to be running circles around the zombies. Never have to worry or fear them ever again. But ammo is going to be a problem. So that's still crafting. We will open you. Nice. We can now make mushroom seeds. That's pretty good. We've got some... I will drink you. We've got a potato. I already had that potato. And we've got more seeds. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll put you into the food and drink. And that can go in there too. Um, right. Right, so what can I make? Do I have a pistol? I think I do. I do have a, a pistol. It's a tier one pistol. Jeez, okay. Right, so I need to... So that means that the 762 ammo is now redundant. <laughs> it's... It's <laughs> it's annoying because... That basically means that the day when I went really far away to get gunpowder, to be able to make gunpowder by mining, was pretty much a waste of time. Oh well, anyway, <laughs> we'll pretend that that doesn't hurt. So we now got a pistol, which is pretty damn good. I'm really happy with that. And we will retire the action lever, I think we will, yeah. And we will modify, take you out, modify. We only have two slots, so we'll put... Yeah, them two in together. Range damage is 43. But I have a lot of ammo, so we should be okay for a little while. The ammo is what's mostly going to get me through this. We won't use the magnum ammo just yet. I think I will keep... The 7.62. I'll keep the AK on me. Because it is. It's, it's another weapon. Um, oh yeah, can I? what knife can I make? Hunting knife. I can make a hunting knife. It's a tier one knife though. Alright, that's better than I thought. I thought maybe I could only st still stick to bloody um, bone. Alright, so we'll track you. The concrete's almost done. And we need uh, iron, wood, leather, and duct tape. Hunting knife. Craft. It's going to be a minute on you. I hope I've made the right decision. <laughs> I really do. I'm worried that I've gone and cocked up. Right, where's my repair kits? Repair kits? I need more of them. Repair you. Oh yeah, that means we can retire. Actually, yeah, let, let me have a look. Will the iron knife, well, the hunting knife, because it's a tier one, it's the lowest of the tiers of the hunting knife, but I've got nearly the max level of a bone knife. Let's see what sort of damage difference there is. Right. I will get around to doing that. We have 202 uh, concrete blocks on us. We seem to be alone for now. We've got so much to do. There's so much work. Oh, shit. I probably should have put some points into archery. And I missed. And I missed again. 
Where's the arrow drop? Never mind. I mean, we're doing four and a half times damage. So that kind of like helps a lot with the damage of the bow. Right, so is the knife done yet? Yes. Okay, so let's have a look. Wow, okay. What? Are you having me on? Is someone giving me a Jolly Roger in right now? What the hell is that? So, I don't know if that's because it's counting the bleed effect. All right, oh, now it's changed. What? All right, so the hunting knife is now better. Okay, so the hunting knife is doing an extra 4.7 on the melee, and the power attack is 11.3 more. Stamina cost is not really much of a problem. That was weird. It was showing like fucking a thousand damage. That was strange. All right, okay, so we're gonna modify, swap over. Put an uh, you into that. Complete. I do apologise for the noise in the background, guys. The builders are back and they're as loud as ever. They woke me up early. They're annoying. We've got a golden knife. I do have a spare uh, mod spot. Uh, can I put any more mods into it? Maybe a burning shaft. Yeah, sure. We'll get a but we'll get bleeding. Oh, I can't put it in there. Oh, okay. I was hoping to have a burning knife. That'd be sick. That's in the wrong place. Okay, so... I can't put that in. That's in the wrong box. I'm honestly lacking on the ammo. Uh, the, the mods, honestly. Can't put that in there, because that's for bats. Maybe I literally can only put the... Hold on, let's just take all of it. And this will help us see what we can put in. So I can put the bunker buster in. Can't put that in because that's in. Which is a ten percent chance to cause bleeding wound on a regular attack. Serrated, serrated. All right, so they're both the same. So I've got a choice of these two. For twenty five percent more damage to all animals. Yeah, that seems like the best choice. Okay. No worries. We will throw. No, I keep putting things in the wrong box. You can tell it's been a couple of weeks since I played. Because I'm forgetting where everything goes. Even though it's written in front of my face. Okay, so all that can go in there. I'll take the knife with me. I'll swap over. I don't know if I want to... Um, modify. Take you out. Do I want my knife to be red or gold? What does it look like? Oh, it just changes the handle. <laughs> well, I am going to take that out, put that in. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not the red that I really like. Yeah, I think we've done the best. Yeah, that, that's the best decision, I think. So we've got, now got a tier 5 steel spear. Worth quite a lot to sell. Right, so mods, throw you away. Pank going in there as well, I don't care. Alright, so what's missing? Oh, so... I've now got another tool belt uh, slot. So what do I want to put in there? Maybe I could bring my first aid bandages down. And have my inventory smaller, maybe. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good show. Crap. I hear footsteps. So that's nothing, nothing in there. Oh, we'll get uh, bullet casings crafted. Bullet, uh, yeah, throw you in. That's gonna take four minutes. That's fine. Right, so we need to find a POI that can give us books. We need books, we need to have a better loadout for what we're now using, pistols and knives. Definitely, that's the main thing. Because if I'm not powerful enough, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm really worried, I'm really worried. 
If I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't think I've made the right call. Is there any cracker books? Any cracker books anywhere? We'll go this way. So I've been riding around for what feels like an eternity. Literally, like, nearly two hours in-game. Thank you. And I can't find a cracker book anywhere. But I will raid you. I will raid these. Alright, let's test out the knife. That might have been a fluke. That might have been a fluke. <laughs> we'll, we'll try it again. Kev? Kev 2? Come here. Okay, okay, okay. I can get behind. I can get behind. The knife is pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Plus, it has a bleeding effect. So. Where are all the Cracker Book stores? Where are they? You yeah, wouldn't believe the amount of Savage Country stores I drove past. There must have been about three or four of the of the giant Savage Country. And not to mention, I believe I rode into the Wastelands a couple of times. Yeah, you can see it here. I rode into the Wasteland a couple of times as well. Was that a trader? I don't recognise this building. Possibly. Is there a flag? What's... What's... Oh. <gasps> it's another trader. Trader Hugh. There are other traders in this... Pa in this map. In this world. Yes. Uh, okay, that's a win. Sugar bats. <gasps> Sugar bots. I've never been here before. I've never seen the new Trader Hugh. Trader Hugh's been up, uh, updated. His compound. This whole area is different from Alpha 20. Oh my god. Trader, Trader Hugh. How have you been? You've been so far away. No public bathroom's here. And don't be peeing on the floor. <laughs> I won't. Don't worry. Ooh, what do we have? Ammo. Sure. Pistol ammo. Machete parts. Makes sense because machete is it a knife? Well, I can't loot any of this. Any others? Can I loot that? No. Nope. Oh, if only. Oh, yes. More ammo. Medicine. Medical journal. I can now make antibiotics. Happy scrappy days. I'm very happy. We found you, Hugh. We found you. Oh, shelves. We will uh, loot a loot what we can. I want arm. I want this. This armor looks sick. Oh yeah, I should put points into um, light armor as well. Oh, we got a repair kit. I don't know why I was excited for that. <laughs> it sounded like I was really happy. Okay, uh, military armor parts. Uh, they're not very good. Uh, can I loot any of these? No. There are zombies outside. It's almost night time. He's going to close soon. I need to hurry the hell up. Can I loot that? Nope. Can I loot that? Nope. He has an invisible wall now. I will go straight over here. Oil, some wood. Forge your head. Forge your head. Forge your head. And forge your head, yes. And some oil shell. Can't pick. That's weird that it, it does that. Okay. It may, it's making that noise because I'm trying to pick it up. Scrap you. Is that lootable? Nope. What about the trucks? Any of these trucks? Don't forget, we are in the pine forest. Ooh. I'll eat you and I'll take the rest. We are in the pine forest, so that means that loot is not very good. And we no longer have points into Lucky Looter. So our, our looting is slower. It takes longer to open shit up now. Can I loot the I can't loot these toilets. I can go in it though. <laughs> Don't bother me, I'm shitting. Zombies go away. <laughs> right. We'll quickly loot what we can. Hurry up. Okay. I can get behind that. 
a random generator, which I normally only see in um, the nighttime quests. Restore the power. I think these are usually found. These giant ones. Possibly. I don't know. It's weird that the trader has one. So we'll loot all this, all of that. Okay. So I think that is it. Let's check out your stuff. Fresh, brand new shit. Definitely. Okay, he's got so much already. He's got a tier 5 compound bow, which is crazy. It's worth so much money. Steel club. Lever action rifle. <laughs> Nothing. He doesn't have a pistol, which is not good. He's got parts. Yeah, sure. Some mods. Books, please. Yes, I will buy you. All of you. Shotgun Weekly, Shotgun Messiah, Furious Fists. I will buy the bows. We are down to our last 300. He's got a mini bike. <laughs> 16 grand, that's not too bad. Some other stuff. He's got a cigar. Oh. I wouldn't mind that cigar. I get more I discounts. Not so bad after okay, all. so. I can make oh I can make a tier four pipe pistol. Jesus, we are so behind. That is not ideal. Do you have any? Jo oh, right, let's check on the map. Where exactly are we? We are really far away from home. Yeah. Wow. So we live here. I've travelled so far, and he's over here. Uh, really far away. I need a supercharger mod. Oh, the doors are about to, sh about to close. Oh, he's going to kick me out in a minute. Okay, so let's... Let's head back home. Where are you? We are two and a half kilometers away from home. Jesus Christ. Only bet there's going to be zombies waiting for me. But yeah, not bad. Slightly annoying that I didn't I wasn't able to raid a POI. If I see a cracker book on my travels home, I will bloody mark it. And then we could do that tomorrow. See, savage countries everywhere. It's no joke. It's ridiculous. You don't need that many clothing shops. Reading is more important than clothes. <laughs> oh, we found a cracker book. We found a cracker book. Right, we're going to scoot past Arlene so she doesn't get me. And we're going to mark. Which one is it? Oh, I'll put it here. Save. Uh, sure, that one. That's Cracker Book. I have to remember that. Oh, there's another one. Looks exactly like the one I just marked on the map. <laughs> I think it might be, actually. Alright, so we'll go there. And that one. Save my point. Uh, that one. Enter. Done. Right, so we got two cracker books uh, marked out. Maybe if I see more, I would like a bigger one. A bigger one would be good. See, look, these giant tier four or tier five, tier three, super savage country stores are just ridiculous. There's so many of them. Why do you need that many, that many shops? Why do you need that many clothes? <laughs> anyway, we're nearly home now. So, an electronic store. A few zombies roaming around. If I stay in one place for too long, then it'll become... There'll be wandering, wandering hordes showing up. Okay, we've got another cracker book. And it's much bigger. Yes. Okay, so, there. That one. Save. That one. Enter. Done. Sweet. Sweet. As a random tumour just dead on the floor. <laughs> okay, so that one is a bigger cracker book and it's not far away from home. We'll see if we can do that in the morning. I ain't doing it now because it's night time and it's scary. Okay, we're nearly home. Any bet there's zombies? Any bet? I see one. Any bet? Wandering hordes? Oh 
shit. Oh, loving it. This knife. Alright. Oh, jeez. Uh, missed. Ah, uh, missed. Did you, like, piss off? Ah, uh, shit. Alright, so the knife is going to take some getting used to because the reach on it is literally you got to be on top of them. <laughs> right, we're home. Happy sodden days. Turn off my light. We'll stay crouched. Okay, so that was day 30. Not bad. Not bad. It could have been better. I wish I got a raid done. I feel like I haven't raided in ages because of the hordes. Me building my base, building it up, repairing it, doing my hordes. My, I've already said hordes. We said it again. <laughs> I'm all flustered. Sorry about the cough. My watch is telling me to um, start moving. <laughs> but, yeah, so... We've reset our skill points. That's pretty good going. We're in agility now. So far, the knife is pretty decent. The knife is treating us well. I'm just not sure what it will be like against the rads when I don't have a rad remover. I might have to switch to the pistol for when they show up. But we've got lots to, lots to do in, in this week. I want to get a lot, a, lot, a lot of the stuff that I've mentioned throughout the video, the repairs, the upgrades... The um, getting better powerful tools and weapons and whatever. I would like to do that before the next horde, which is day 35. But anyway, you'll all have to see that in the next video. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming!